Do you ever leave your doctor's office thinking that you had a totally pleasant experience? This probably isn't the case for many of us since most people don't enjoy going to the doctor. But as a doctor, the impression that you leave on your patients either helps or harms your practice. If patients have a great experience, then they'll likely return. They might even brag about how awesome you were to the people that they know, which helps you get new patients in the long run. But if people have an unpleasant visit, they'll switch practices and share the dissatisfaction with others. In the end, you'll end up losing patients and revenue if you don't offer the best customer satisfaction. So how do you make sure that your experience is exceptional? Hi everyone, I'm Matt from Tactics, and today I'm going to share some of the best tips for improving patient satisfaction. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. The first tip is to improve communication. Doctors should use the 50-70 rule for eye contact when with patients. This means maintaining eye contact for 50% of the time when speaking and 70% of the time when listening. This helps the patient know that you're actually paying attention to the conversation. Don't interrupt them either. On average, patients only have 11 seconds to explain the reason for their visit before the doctor interrupts. This makes them feel like you aren't taking their concerns seriously. You should also use basic language that they can understand. 30% of English-speaking patients don't understand simple medical terms. This could make it difficult for them to follow a treatment plan if they don't know what it means. So confirm with them that they understand their diagnosis and treatment and clarify anything if needed. Second, help the patient know what to expect from their visit. Only 3% of people actually fear going to the doctor, while majority just fear the unknown. In 2018, 34% of Americans had confidence in medical leaders compared to 75% in 1966. To help your patients trust your expertise, show your professional knowledge to prove credibility. Now this should go without saying, but you should also always put the patient first. However, 24% of American patients don't feel valued by their healthcare provider. There are a few steps you can take to change this though. For example, focus on the patient outcome since the health industry is moving toward value-based care. Also make emotional connections with patients to show that you care about them and their well-being. And third, say thank you. You wouldn't be in business without them, so show them that you appreciate them. The fourth tip is to improve patient wait times. One of the most frustrating parts of a doctor visit is spending more time waiting than actually seeing the doctor. Hospital ratings decrease as the wait time increases. The average appointment wait time is over 18 minutes. Only 33% of physicians spend 17 to 24 minutes with their patients. This means people often spend more time waiting than with their doctor. Sometimes you can't control these long wait times, but you can at least let clients know how long they can expect to wait. 88% of patients said that knowing in advance how long they'll be waiting helps reduce the frustration. Finally, a simple way to improve satisfaction is to ask for feedback. Well, the tips that I just gave you throughout this video can help. No one knows how to improve your practice better than your own clients. Using satisfaction surveys will show your patients that you actually care about them and their concerns. It gives insights on other ways you can improve their experience and quality of care. Now, the reality is that some clients might have complaints regardless of what you do to make their experience better. No matter how hard you try, you just can't please everyone but you can cater to the majority of your patients by implementing these steps. And overall, this will improve retention and boost revenue. If you'd like to learn more about improving patient satisfaction, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below. What are you waiting for? Subscribe to our YouTube channel.